the closing doors, please. Sound, and then there was a pause for about a split second, and then there was like a scream or two, and then everyone just ran. Everybody, there was mass chaos. Uh, the smoke, the black smoke and fire. Hijacked, and there are indications that it may have been a Boeing 767 out of Boston. Just like a train rumbling, so maybe like. 35 seconds, and then there was like this pause, and then boom, hit with all the dust, and it was black, I mean pitch black. I don't know if anybody could have survived being on the street at that time. Nine eleven, shit changed. Yeah, nine eleven. She got like more pressure from nine eleven. When they told everyone in the classroom that the Twin Towers had been hit by the plane, I kind of went into panic mode. I remember cell phones did not work, the cell phone towers were down, so we only had the land phone. People who were on a train were stuck on a train for about a day and a half, two days on the ground because there was no power. My mother was one of those people, so we just not getting no phone call, no nothing, not knowing what the fuck was going on with her, so we thinking that shit happened to her. Yeah, it was an either I couldn't even call over here because, no, 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 the telephone is all dead. And then later on, like I guess like two days later, when we all trying to find out what's going on, she comes back to us. I was just worried about my mom because she works in the city. Those buses were packed, man, jam packed, like crazy packed. So I mean that whole terrorist shit, man, that shit is no joke, especially what happens in your hometown, especially when it happens to your family. Two towers were hit by a plane. Three towers straight down. Symmetrical collapse. All the concrete was pulverized. How did they pulverize all the concrete into talcum powder dust? How did they make the buildings fall straight down, free fall speed into the path of most resistance? Symmetrical collapse. How? Like the hospitals, the ambulances were going nuts. It was like hysteria. Went on the rooftop and I could see the towers like burning. It was quite overwhelming. I didn't really. I was like, like you couldn't understand what was going on. How did they do it? How did they do it? Three towers straight down, free fall speed, symmetrical collapse, human intervention. How did they do it? I designed this image poster. It's an illusion. There are around 2,000 pictures of 9/11 from media. They create illusion of twin towers. Okay, what we're going to put new ones on. No, this thing. Okay. I can't imagine like what that must have looked like from here, right? Mm -hmm. And I imagine all the stuff like travel the debris, over here. Yeah. Too. Did you? We're all wondering if our family's okay and everything. Yeah. You know, our drummer Al's dad was working in the trade center. Um, I had family working in the trade center, so it was a really scary time, but uh, luckily I didn't see any of it, although I watched it repeat on television. A thousand times. Yeah. I saw those towers come down in real life. I didn't see it on television like the rest of you, or most of you. So that's why I take it personally. I witnessed the attacks from Jersey City, New Jersey. My name is Glenn Zarmanov. You can look up my name. It's all over the internet. I've been gang stalked. I've been harassed. I've been spied on by the NSA. This is all on record. I have the police report if you don't believe me. And this was years before Edward Snowden. This was 
years before the Obama administration. Now under the Obama administration, they're just spying on everybody. They're collecting all your emails, all your phone records, all of it. They know what type of pornography you watch. They know what websites you were just visiting last year. They know all of your decisions that you're making in your Xbox controller. So I remember 9-11 vividly. I remember I was in social studies class first, and another teacher came in to tell my social studies teacher that um, one of the towers had been hit, but we thought it was an accident. Maybe like a small plane hit the top of the tower or something like that, like nothing serious. I was in school during that day, and I remember that our teachers called us to the auditorium as we witnessed what was going on. But that day, and I think even a couple days after the incident, there were really no classes or anything going on as well as school-wise. We were just uh, gathered around the TVs, looking at all the news reports. It was literally one channel probably other than what was happening in Ground Zero, like that was all that was being played. Who's the real terrorists? The United States government has used all of this anti-terror legislation and apparatuses against we, the people, not against some Middle Eastern guys in a cave. And one by one, the students were leaving, like, because their parents were picking them up. And then the next thing you know, they told me my mother was here. So I'm like, what is going on? I really didn't feel the impact until later on today. I didn't really realize that it was a terrorist attack until like a few days later. I'm like, wait, are they serious? The Twin Towers are gone, they've been hit. We've been attacked by, and this is the first time I heard the man's name, Osama bin Laden. Very hard to save as many people as possible and to send a message that the city of New York and the United States of America is much stronger than any group of barbaric terrorists. All of the suspects right now that I know that the U.S. is looking at are in the Middle East. And uh, frankly, we uh, have to put Osama bin Laden at the top of the list. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbored them. I honestly feel like I didn't really realize what happened until, you know, my uncle, who's a taxi driver, came to the house and he said, you know, right when the first plane went through one of the buildings, you know, he was right there. And the way he came to my house, like he had dust all over him. It took him six hours to get to Queens from Manhattan. A lot of firefighters were stationed at the firehouse uh, 288, mm -hmm. uh, which is in this location. And there was a lot of people that were involved in responding to the 9-11 attacks. They the heroes, you know, they the heroes. Uh, we don't hear about them, you know, mm -hmm. getting into no nationwide altercation. People always talk about the NYPD, but FDNY doesn't have it easy either. TSA has never caught a single terrorist. They need artificial intelligence. Three buildings, do the math. What about building seven? Build that sucker right Larry quick. Silverstein admitted they knew. There's a lot of people that died. A lot of friends of mine. They're going to come back and fight them no more. Yeah. Building 7 was a controlled demolition, ladies and gentlemen. On record, in your face. And they blew up the Twin Towers as well. In broad daylight. I know it sounds unbelievable, but we got to grow up. That's the fact. Fires do not take out 210 story buildings and make them crumble like sandcastles in 10 seconds. It's impossible. It's even worse than what he says. It's even worse than what he says. They're spraying us with chemicals for night. That's very weird. You, can ask about you better start looking up in your sky, waking up to what's going on in your sky. What really, really got to me though was seeing the people who this who just had to make that choice where it's either, okay, I'm either just gonna jump off this tower, jump out the tower, or I'm just gonna stay in here and get burned and crumbled or whatever in the rubble. So just seeing like the people jumping down from the towers, like, I don't know, that, that just really, really broke my heart. We've got to do something now and do it immediately. I mean, I, we're entitled to some semblance of security, some semblance of rationality, and I think, that all died in New York. I've been in the city for years and uh, I've never heard it as silent and as sad as I've heard it tonight. This city is in shock and uh, unless you're here tonight, you don't quite comprehend it.